From seafood to hard hats to teacups, we're traveling from top to bottom of Brunswick County, bringing you the inside scoop of your local businesses. Today we visit with Island Seafood in Oceanow Beach, then head up to Leland to visit with Stevens Fine Homes, and then back to Calabash to visit with the Calabash Garden Tea Room and Gift Shop. Stay tuned for the next 30 minutes as we connect Brunswick County, one business at a time. Richard Kraft and Roy Simmons, both with Island Seafood right here in Oceanow Beach. Very excited to come out here. We're obviously right in the midst of summer, and Brunswick County is obviously known for the great seafood, so we want to come and get some information, get the scoop about what you guys have here at Island Seafood, so thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Richard, tell us a little bit. You own this business. Tell right. us how, how it got started. What? Why are you so passionate about seafood? Well, I grew up... Um, fishing and shrimping down here um, with my dad and uh, all through school years. My mom taught school. We didn't actually live here, but um, every summer I came down spent the whole summer here. And I don't know, just, just grew up a lot on the water and um, then later on, you know, I, five or six years ago I got some commercial fishing license and started selling a few flounder, a few clams, um, live bait, live shrimp minnows and stuff like that to uh, different places and um, just always thought it would be neat to have my own fish market and be able to sell to the public here in the uh, Ocean Isle, Sunset, Br Brunswick County. So here we are. There we, yeah, here we are. And you just had your one year in June, is that right? One year in so June. congratulations, sure. that's exciting. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about the seafood you have here. What do you offer? Well, we got a lot of fresh local fish. We keep fish coming in three, four days a week. Um, Sometimes more, just depending on when the boats dock. We got mahi, grouper, trigger fish, uh, sea bass. We always have. We have some uh, snappers, just depending on what's in season. Um, we keep it coming uh, fresh. We got a lot of fresh local shrimp, uh, clams, little neck clams, chowder clams. We got every size clam. Um, we do it all basically. Anything yeah. that, that crawls, swims. <laughs> Y'all have it on here. The we, 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 uh, we try to sell it. It yeah. sounds like a lot of the things you just mentioned are local too. Is yeah. that do you find that most of the the things that you have here are local? They are. Um, I mean, a few things we get frozen crab legs, of course. Uh, we do keep live blue crabs a lot. Um, scallops mostly come out of Virginia. Um, you know, things like that. But um, for the most part, we're um, we're we're pretty much all all local brunswick okay. we get some stuff from south carolina um a lot comes out of southport merle's inlet places like that so well that's good i like that you keep it local mm -hmm. and people are able to to get that here uh roy tell us now that we're in july obviously like we said right in the middle of summer what is the best seafood for for right now um, i would definitely have to say uh, a go-to would be uh, our fresh local grouper uh trigger fish uh, we got some summer mahi coming in now. Uh, we got a fresh load of them this morning. Uh, we got some local sea bass, uh, like Richard mentioned, some snapper. Uh, and those little neck clams, you know, that's a go-to also. Uh, and we have some fresh local shrimp. Actually, me and Richard went out shrimping last night and we caught a little handful. And uh, we're just looking forward to uh, catching more and selling uh, that fresh local seafood. Okay, so you, you caught some last night and it's already out here this morning That's ready right. to go. That's Very right. good. Yeah. Um, now tell us a little bit about the what people can order size-wide. I know, I know a lot of people come down here, rent big beach houses, bring tons of family members. Say they were hoping to do like a fish fry. Is there a way that they can come in here and get a bulk amount of sure. certain seafood? Sure, they can even uh, simple as them coming in <clears throat> excuse me simple as them coming in and telling us they got 12 14 16 people to feed you know what do we need we'll um we'll get the right portion size of uh, fish for them um shrimp we'll get a certain you know amount of shrimp per person and um we can basically 
plan their whole meal. Oh, good. Wow. We even have people to call in and uh, place orders. Okay. You know, on the phone, and we just mm -hmm. they just tell us about how many people they got and what they're looking for to eat. And uh, when they come in, we got them uh, bagged up, ready to go. All oh, wow. We peel them, vein their shrimp. Um, oh, we'll that's convenient. We'll crabs if they want their crabs clean, but, you know, it's so endless. You cater to what, yeah. they, what the customers mm -hmm. need. Absolutely. And also, on the other hand, if someone's looking just to have a meal, um, they know they want seafood, but they want to try something new. Is there recipes that you can recommend that you've tried with your own seafood? Oh, yeah. I, I, I like to keep things simple. Um, a lot of people this time of year like to grill or cook outside. You know, they, if they're grilling, um, the mahi, the grouper, the trigger fish, any of those, we got shark crust seasoning, makes it real easy. You just coat the fish. Pop it right on the grill, spread the little olive oil right on the grill. It's real simple. Or steam pots, we do, you know, crab balls, we can help people out with that as far as um, the seafood that goes in there the shrimp, the clams, the crab legs, blue crabs. Yeah, we have lots of recipes we could recommend with um, right down to just saute, um, you know, the butter, the white wine, lemon juice. Cavender's Greek seasoning does well on uh, steamed clams. Um, See, yeah, can we can help. We can help anybody anything. out with any well, recipe. Good, good to know. And I know you mentioned that people can come in here, grab some rubs, um, some seasoning, stuff like that. Obviously, our viewers can see behind us that y'all have tons of things. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to pull this one. This one caught my eye. I love the title here. This is interesting. So, what is, what is something that people could use for with this? You uh, you boil crabs. Okay. Uh, shrimp. Do your seafood bowls, your crab bowls with that. It's real spicy. It's sort of a new item for us. I've, I've tried every one of these. Yeah. I always try everything that we sell. Oh, well, good. That's it's good real. To know. It's, it's, it's spicy. It's it's good stuff. Yeah, I see some grits good. and and just some some sauces. So there's lots that people could get here as well. We have a real good one hot sauce that is not out here that we really like to recommend is Bone Lee hot sauce. Okay. That's a good. It's a gourmet. It's real. It's very good, a lot of flavor there. Yeah, a good one. Very good. And Roy, I know we had talked about um, before I came in. You had mentioned that you offer a service that's kind of unique as well. So, what if people catch their own fish? What can you guys do if they bring them in here? Well, if, if people catch their fish and they just been out here in the hot day and they just want to kind of go home and relax, they can bring us their catch and uh, we'll fillet them or clean them any way they want. Okay. Uh, you know, prices vary on that, but. Uh, they can just bring us their local catch and uh, we'll clean it up and they come back and pick it up and go home and slap it on the grill maybe with some char crust or, or whatever other kind of seasoning. That's nice. So if someone wants to stop by, uh, come and see what you got or call, can you give us your contact information and, and any any way that they can reach you and find out about your seafood? Sure, we're here um, seven days a week, uh, 121 Causeway Drive, Ocean Isle Beach. Uh, the phone number is 910. Five seven nine five seven seven seven. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. And I believe you all have a Facebook page people can like. We do. Uh, okay. Yeah, like us on Facebook and uh, mention us. We might you might get a little discount. Oh, very cool. Okay, good to know. I hope our viewers remember that. Right. Well, thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of the summer. I hope everything keeps going well for you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Wendy Melville, new home specialist with Stevens Fine Homes. We're right here in Brunswick County, mm -hmm. specifically in Mallory Creek, and even more specifically in the Jordan, one of your homes here in Mallory Creek. Uh, we appreciate you being on the show. Thank We're you. excited to see Thank everything. I've heard here. so much about Stevens Fine Homes on the radio. I hear people talking about them. Y'all are really growing. Um, first, before we get into all that, tell us a little bit about your position here and what you do. All right, I'm the new home specialist with Stevens Fine Homes. I've been with the company for 12 years, and I sell um, homes in Brunswick County. Okay, and what's a little bit of background with Stevens? How long have they been here? Um, Stevens Fine Homes was founded in 1993 by third-generation builder Craig Stevens. 
um, we have built over 2,000 homes in and around the Wilmington area. Okay, great. And like we said before, we're in Mallory Creek. Um, what other neighborhoods are here in Brunswick County? We sell in Grayson Park, uh, Wedgwood at Landville, Orchid Bay at Waterford, and here in Mallory Creek. Okay. Now, if if the opportunity arises, are you guys ever going to go further into Brunswick County? Most definitely. I believe that if any great opportunity was presented to Craig, he would definitely jump on it. Okay. And let's talk about this model because it's an awesome model, new. It, it's huge. There's a it lot of square foot, <laughs> footage here. Tell us a little bit, maybe kind of just as if you're walking through the front door, tell mm -hmm. us how this layout set up. Uh, this is our Jordan plan, which is one of our popular plans. It has the master down. It could be a six bedroom, three and a half bath home. When you come in the front door, you have your formal dining room, your big kitchen that's opened up to your huge great room. You have the master right off of the great room. Um, then you have a beautiful upstairs. Okay. Now I know we're going to meet with your superintendent later and mm -hmm. talk about all the different ways that someone can customize a Stevens Fine Home. Um, but tell us a little bit about the upgrades. I know people can do anything from paint colors um, to countertops. Tell us what some of the options are. Um, mostly people are choosing like an upgraded cabinet, going to a 36 inch or 42 inch. Hardwoods is definitely a, a, my must for everyone. Um, granite is, is an option, but a lot of people aren't choosing that as much. You know, nine foot ceilings. Okay. We have um, different lighting packages that you can choose from and plumbing packages. Okay. Stone, the elevation, you know, because we offer a craft. The craftsman comes included with the home, but you can do a European style as well. Now, you mentioned stone, um, referring to the outside. And when we came in the neighborhood, you could tell that all the houses were very different. They were different colors, different materials. So the outside, they can customize Most as well. definitely. Oh, yes. That's usually where they start in the design studio. But that's one thing that I like about our Stevens communities because you have the opportunity to change your exterior so it's not a cookie cutter neighborhood. Right. The homes are different. They're not the same look every you know, right. side by side. And I think that's what people like. They mm -hmm. want a different home. They don't mm -hmm. want to have the same house that looks like their neighbors. Right. So that's great right. that y'all offer that. Right. Y'all also offer, I know a big thing for you guys is customer service, always catering to your clients. Um, tell us a little bit about what you strive for when you start the process with one of your clients. Okay, well whenever they um, finish with their design studio options and they come in and meet with our superintendent here they sit down and they go through the whole process the all of their options they actually walk the home site the home site is already staked out and boxed in and um, once the house is built they'll come in and do a walkthrough before they go to closing and make sure that everything is like they want it to be and then when they close we do a three-month checkup with them and then we do an 11 month okay so um, the whole first year they're in the house anything that they need or that goes wrong they contact us and oh, we take wow. care of them. Wow, that's mm -hmm. excellent. I bet mm -hmm. that's great for, for your clients to oh, they have. Love it. They love it. It's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. I bet so. Now, what does a typical home start at around? Um, well, our base price, um, we have one forty nine nine, which starts in Grayson Park in the Reunion, and we go all the way up to $300,000. we are getting ready to start a new phase in Mallory Creek called The Grove, which is going to be um, geared more toward the retiree. Okay. It's going to be a one all one story brick home. Okay, so um, very affordable. People very, can very definitely affordable. get in here yes, and definitely. have a home. Mm -hmm. Okay, well do you mind if we go take a look at the model that's being built and yeah, talk I'd to your superintendent? To. I'd love to. Okay, let's go. Okay, Wendy, we're here in the Carrera, uh, the model that's being built. We're here with your handsome superintendent who happens to be my fiance. So welcome, Kyle. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about where we are, what is this plan, and, and kind of what step you're in right now. Um, this is a Carrera plan. It's uh, one of our 3,000 plus plans. Um, it is actually a very new plan. We uh, did this one in memory of the former VP of the company who passed away two years ago in March. Um, it is uh, a much bigger plan than the one we were just in. Uh, we are roughing it in right now, which means the plumbers and electricians and HVAC guys are in here doing all their rough work. Okay, so there's a lot of construction going on still. How much longer do you have in this before it will be done? This house, uh, we have about eight to nine weeks left and it'll be okay. done. Um, that's on the 75 day build schedule, which is, will get you in the house about 120 days from the time you tell Wendy that you want it and where you want to build it. We have it done in 120 days. Okay, and is that typical turnaround time for most houses? Or? Yes. Okay, very good. Now I know that you mentioned 
before that the warranty is something that you guys pride yourself on, so it's great. So that includes everything the structurally in the house as well. Right, exactly. We offer a one-year builder's warranty where I told you that we would come in the whole first year you're in the home, okay. take care of everything. We have a two-year mechanical and then a 10-year structural warranty that you're given with your home that if you sold your home within the 10 years, it's transferable to whoever buys your home. Okay, well, that's great. Very good. Now, I know a lot of buyers are looking to make their homes energy efficient. Is that something Stevens is catering to? Yeah, we do a lot of things that uh, really help the energy efficiency of the home. Um, we use uh, different types of plywood on the sides of the house for sheathing and on the roof for sheathing, which will keep your house a lot cooler, uh, let a lot less air escape. Um, we do a lot, a lot of things to upgrade the insulation value of your house, which in turn will not let heat get in or get out depending on the season. Um, there's a lot of things that we do as far as framing techniques to up the insulation value and really keep your power bill low and your water bill low. Okay, very good. So y'all know your stuff. This is great. I'm glad our viewers were able to see that you guys know so much about homes because it's something that's very important to people and it's a big part of their lives. So it's great that, that y'all know so much and they can feel comfortable coming in here and talking to you. Wendy, will you give us um, just your contact information for reaching mm -hmm. you via email, telephone, if they want to stop by the model? What is what is okay. your contact information? Um, my, my name is Wendy Melville. My cell phone number is 910. 262-1660. Uh, you can email me at wmelville at Stevens Fine Homes, and you can also follow me on Facebook, Wendy Melville, New Home Specialist, um, Leland, North Carolina. Okay, great. And, and can you just tell them maybe quickly how to get to Mallory Creek in case they want to stop by? Sure. Mallory Creek is three and a half min miles down 133 towards Southport. Okay. Um, you turn it on Mallory Creek Drive, and we're all the way in the back. Okay, great. Well, thank you both so much for being on the thank show, you for and us. good luck with everything in the future. Thank you. Thank you. with Kathy Cody, co-owner of the Calabash Garden Tea Room and Gift Shop right here in Calabash. Obviously, we've seen you before. You were just on last month's show uh, with the Turtle Crossing Cupcakes, the, the addition of the espresso bar and all of that yeah. stuff. Um, but today, we're here at the Garden Tea Room, not too far away from that, uh, to talk about your services as the Calabash Garden Tea Room, but also the added gift shop that y'all have recently done. Mm -hmm. So thank you again for being on another show. Yeah. We appreciate you coming and, and letting Letting us come in here and see everything you do. So tell us a little bit, just to remind our viewers about the Calabash Garden Tea Room, what it is that you do and kind of some of the changes you've had recently. Well, thanks for coming. It's great that you're here and uh, it's great that I have an opportunity to, sure. uh, to let everybody know a little bit about the changes that we've done. Uh, we've been here for seven years and uh, one of the biggest changes that we've done is we've brought the gift shop into the tea room. And so all of our gift items and all the accoutrements uh, that you need for uh, having a wonderful tea experience, we have right here under one roof, which is uh, really great for us uh, and for our customers so that when they're here having their tea experience, uh, sharing that with their friends and family, that they're able to uh, shop and, um, and take home everything that they need, whether it's tea or whether it's a teapot or um, teacup and saucer or any of the other little items that they might want to okay. take home with them or give as a gift to somebody. Sure, very yeah. good. So tell us, you said that people can take home teas. Tell us a little bit about the teas here. Well, we have a variety of about 70 different teas. Um, we. Uh, all of our teas are imported from all over the country and the world. Um, we have uh, black teas, green teas, oolongs, uh, a lot of different varieties, different blends and flavors. We have decafs, we have regular, we have um, rooibos teas, um, and there's something for everybody. And um, 
Uh, we blend some of our own teas here. We have a very special tea that we do, which is an apricot melange, which is mm. a house blend that we do. Uh, we do it iced in the summer, and we also do it hot, and uh, we sell it uh, in bags, small bags that are 10 servings, and we also do tins of it that are uh, 40 servings, and wow. it's very popular, and people love to take that home and give it as gifts as well. Yeah, so, sounds, um, that would be perfect, perfect gift. for everybody. Yeah, yeah very yeah, good. Yeah. Now, what do we have here in front of us? Everything lo just looks so appetizing. Mm. I see that the from from the bottom to the top, tell us what we got. Well, this is our ultimate tea, and uh, we are uh, the number one tea room in the state of North Carolina. Uh, we are very proud of that. Yeah, that's and we are one to be of, proud of. Uh, <laughs> we are one of the top 100 tea rooms in the country, wow. uh, rated on tmap.com. And this is what we are very popular for, and this is what we call our ultimate tea. Okay. And it's a very traditional high tea. It starts you on the bottom with a variety of finger sandwiches, and there's a traditional cucumber and dill. We have an apricot pecan ribbon sandwich here, a horseradish uh, and roast beef on... Um, on whole wheat, and there is a variety of other finger sandwiches. On the second tier, we always have our scone, mm. and it's fresh baked homemade scone I make every single day. Uh, it changes all the time. We serve it with lemon curd and mock Devonshire cream, and on the top are our desserts, and we have a double dipped chocolate strawberry. We have our petite cupcakes with our homemade buttercream from our Turtle Crossing Cupcakes Espresso oh, Bar and perfect. Bake Shop. And we have a fresh fruit skewer with a white chocolate drizzle on top, and our desserts change from time to time as well. And um, along with that, you get a pot of tea, okay. and we also start you with a garden salad. Oh, great. And also here we have our chilled strawberry soup. I was going to ask about that. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful color, and I heard someone mention strawberry, and I've never, I've never had that. I, so well, I just wanted to see. Maybe you can try it yeah. before you leave today. Yes, I might have to do that. <laughs> what does it entail? Well, it's first of all, it's fresh strawberries that are locally grown here, okay. and we puree them. And I add a little yogurt and some other little ingredients, and... Uh, yeah. So it's a chilled soup, which is really nice for the, the summer season. Right. And uh, we also have a hot soup all year, which is our hot tomato Provence bisque that I tried to take off the menu, but our customers would not let us. <laughs> so it's something that we have all year. Okay. And then our chilled soup changes from time to time. So, okay. Yeah. Well, I know we had interviewed you when we started this show, Brunswick Biz, mm -hmm. and I just had to come in here. My mother and I came in mm -hmm. for a tea, and we had the best time, and we got to dress up, and then we just had a ball with it. So do y'all still encourage people to dress up, put on the hats and always, everything? Always. Good. Uh, some ladies come with their own hats and come dressed for tea. <laughs> and if not, and there's vacationers that come, you know, dressed very casual. We have a room in the back with lots of hats and boas, and yes. ladies go back there. We encourage them to go ahead and put a hat on. It just heightens their experience, and, you know, it's just so much fun. From the little girls on up to, you know, multi-generational. They travel from all over the world and in the country. They find us here from, you know, on on the web and mm -hmm. when they walk through the door they just kind of get a little transformed from <laughs> the atmosphere and they go in the back and they find a hat that fits them and suits their personality and they just come and just <laughs> you know just really have fun enjoy with it. it yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, good good yeah. that's what it's all about it is. um yeah. so if someone had uh, more than a few people and wanted to do uh, you know birthday party or, or just get some of the women in their family or men you know whoever yeah. together for a tea are you still able to to do that? Absolutely. We can see about 30 people okay. and uh, we do bridal showers and baby showers and uh, ladies that lunch and book clubs and red hat groups. Um, we have had um, local businesses that come and do some presentations. We've done some evening events. There's, um, you know, many, many occasions. We've done birthday parties from, you know, two and four year olds on up to 100 year olds. Wow, so, wow. Um, you know, we have many occasions that uh, people come and book you know, private events and yeah. parties, so yes. Well, good. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I just wanted to highlight, again, the, the added gift shop that, mm -hmm. that y'all have brought over here. And, I mean, y'all have everything. I see jewelry up here, mm -hmm. like you said, the tea. Yeah. Um, I saw over, when we first come in, even these these birds. Yes. Can you tell? Yeah. Uh, this is something <laughs> I think is so cute, and I definitely want to get one. Yeah. What What is that? Well, that's our lemon bird. And so everybody that comes in, obviously, there's a glass of water at your place setting, and inside is a wedge of lemon. Mm -hmm. And so when you come, you could squeeze the tail feathers and drip your lemon into your water if you okay. choose to have lemon in your water and this is a really great hostess gift lots of ladies go home yeah. with several of them they're I a great bet. gift ladies will buy them and when they have guests over for lunch you know they'll use them or they'll give them as a gift as they leave and um, 
they're just a very popular item that we sell. But we also have drip catchers that go on teapots that um, okay. sit over the teapot and keep the lid on. Um, we have uh, we sell our salad dressing. We sell um, our lemon curd um, teapots. You know, there's just a multitude of things. And if you like to take tea and have tea. Um, it's just we have everything so when you leave here you can go home and have your own tea one Perfect. of the another really special thing is our little hankies that we use um, are also a wonderful item that we sell yeah. and uh, they're they come personalized some of them have sister or mother oh, or thank cute. you on them so they're another really great little item so we have a lot of little special things that you can right. take home as a That's gift. That's what I was going to ask if, if you think some of the gifts around in, in the shop would make good hostess or birthday gifts and I think that and they do. They obviously do. And we personalize gift baskets if you need anything. Uh, we can ship them. We ship our teas all over the place so uh, if you called us um, you know we can put a basket together or even just a tin of tea if you've ever been here and you, right. you'd like your tea shipped to you, we can do that to you. Well, mm -hmm. very good. Yeah. Well, will you tell our viewers where you're located, your physical mm -hmm. address, and then a phone number if they have any questions sure. or anything that they can get in contact sure. you, with you? Uh -huh. We're at 10152 Beach Drive, uh, which is synonymous with uh, Route 179, Highway 179 in Calabash. Uh, we're in the Calabash Cottages. Uh, we, we're a great little group of uh, cottages downtown here. It's really sweet across from Wendy's uh, Fine Jewelry and Nell's Consignment, ASAP Real Estate, and of course our Turtle Crossing Espresso Bar and Bake Shop and also Linda's Dog Grooming is here. So we're a great bunch of women that have great businesses yes. here and it's a great little spot to come down and sit and relax and walk around and enjoy the day. Um, Calabash is a great town. We have wonderful shops and a great way to spend the day down here. Okay, yeah. good. And your telephone number? Is 910-579-9500. Okay. Uh, like us on Facebook. Oh, good, Check out good. our website. We have information on there and there's pictures and, uh, you know, we just love for you to come down and sit and relax and have tea with us and um, make a memory here. Very good. Well, I think this is great for residents or visitors, so this is something they definitely need to experience for themselves. So thanks for being on the show and telling our viewers all about it. Thanks for coming back, Kat. Really sure. appreciate it. Thank you. tuning into Brunswick Biz only on ATMC TV. Special thanks to Island Seafood, Stevens Fine Homes, and Calabash Garden Tea Room and Gift Shop. If you have any questions about today's show or would like to see a business on our show, remember it is free. Just give us a call at 755-1770. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next month when we connect Brunswick County one business at a time. A women's and children's clothing store in Ocean Isle Beach, where charming and classic meet fun loving and playful.
KTMC TV works hard to bring you the best in local programming for Brunswick and Columbus counties. Our goal is to provide local programming that is interesting, informative, and entertaining to the residents of our area. ATMC TV also offers all their information at ATMCTV.com. Find out when your favorite shows are airing, watch current ATMC TV episodes, check the local bulletin, or even submit a public service announcement about your organization. Be sure to check us out on the web at ATMC. 